Here I will teach you how to send an email from a Python script. What you'll need to know is how to edit and create variables in Python and upgrade and downloading but libraries. First of all, we'll call sudo apt-get install ssmtp mail utils. This will install a simple mail transfer protocol server for sending email. That's what ssmtp does. Mail utils um, is a set of libraries for handling emails. It'll install this. After you call this, you will then need to you'll then need to um, edit the configuration of the SSMTP file using sudo. To do this, just call sudo nano tc slash SSMTP slash SSMTP dot config conf rather. And in this, your, your text file will look different than mine. It will have um, a, a lot more text in it. I'm just not directly plugged into my Raspberry Pi. But what you'll need to do here do is edit the mail hub line so that it says smtp.gmail.com colon 587. You'll also um, you also need to add four lines of codify um, or basically uh, underneath hostname Raspberry Pi underneath this line um, you have to add the following four lines. Um, the first line is the email address you will use to send the email from. The second is the password of the email for this email account. Of course, this should be your actual email address and this should be your actual password. The last two lines are actually for encryption. Then press Control X and type yes to make sure that uh, your changes are saved. Then you're going to nano and type the file um, that file name you wish your files to be called. <clears throat> For example, it could be called nano uh, sending email dot py. Make sure it's not called email dot py as this can call, cause problems. Within this file, first let's create some variables. We can start off with SMTP user and let's have that equal your email address. Then SMTP password, let's have that equal your password to log into that email account. These are basically the credentials from where you would like to send your emails from. Afterwards, uh, let's add these two variables uh, to add, and this will be uh, the to address, rather, um, the email address you want to send this to. And so fill this in with an, a real email address. And then the from address should be from the SMTP user. So in this case, it'll be your email address that you're sending the email from. Next, we can type the following variables. The subject line, um, in this case, you have somebody at the door. And the body, this was sent from a Python script. Um, the header should be, um, it contains the, the to, the to field, the from field, and the subject line. Uh, to make sure that things are in order, um, rather, the, the, the slash n is a new line, so the header is three, three lines long, and this is important. Uh, after this, uh, to make sure things are in order, you want to call print header new line body. And basically, this will be some feedback so that after you run the script, you see what was actually sent. Uh, you will also need to import a method that will give us the ability to connect to an SMTP server. this method we can just call it up here
I was able to have some comments there in case I ever want to change anything. Um, the rest of this file just concerns communication with the SMT server, SMTP server rather. Um, so you can probably look up more info on this. Um, but and but I added some commentary to make it easier for you to understand. So you can read that over. And just copy that into your own code. So from here, again, you can just exit. And then press yes, type yes to make sure that our code is saved. We can actually test whether or not our function worked. So we can use called Python. And the file name, in my case, I already had a saved Python file with all these configurations. So it was actually called sending email Jose, but you can call it, you just got to call the name of the original file. So I'm gonna call it. And then here it says a to address, from address. And this is the message line, so it shows that it was correct. And then I look over here and you can see that I actually received an email. If you click on it, it's from Raspberry Pi test and sent to me. And this is the actual text. And that is how we create the script.